Fossil Sketch software was developed to teach the basics of micropaleontology. Micropaleontology studies microfossils, or fossils that are very small and require the use of a microscope. Microfossils are usually 1 mm or less. In this video, we will give an overview of the Ostracoda, an important microfossil group, and their morphology with description of major carapace features. Ostracods are a diverse group of small aquatic crustaceans. Their carapace usually ranges from 0.3 to 2 mm in length. Their soft body is enclosed in the carapace, representing a hard, bivalved shell made of low magnesium calcite that can entirely cover and protect the soft body parts and appendages. The soft body of an ostracod is enclosed between two valves. The two valves or carapace develops from two lateral folds in the epidermis, each with an outer lamella and an inner lamella. The space between these lamella is a continuation of the body cavity and may house certain reproductive and digestive organs. The epidermis of the outer lamella and the peripheral part of the inner lamella lays down calcareous material to form hard lateral valves. The two valves hinge dorsally, form a carapace. Between the valves, appendages are protruded for feeding, locomotion and reproduction. The valves can be closed by means of adductor muscles attached to the inside of each valve. The peripheral, calcified part of the inner lamella may be wholly or partially fused with the outer lamella, forming the marginal zone. When only partly fused, a vestibulum is formed between the outer lamella and the free part of the inner lamella. The edge of the valve is termed the outer margin and the inner edge of the calcified inner lamella is the inner margin. The marginal zone is crossed by marginal pore canals through which pass sensilla. Ostracods sense their surroundings using sensilla, which project through the carapace via pore canals at the margins. Morphology of the ostracod valve is used to distinguish between different taxonomic groups such as families, genera and species. In order to describe morphology of the ostracod valve, we need to orient the valve correctly. Ostracod valve has four margins – dorsal, ventral, anterior and posterior. Dorsal margin is the upper or back of the valve. It goes along the hinge and is usually straight or convex. Ventral margin can be parallel to dorsal margin and is usually concave, with concavity closer to the anterior margin of the valve. Maximum length is subparallel to ventral margin. Anterior margin is in the front of the carapace, it is usually higher than posterior, with the maximum height of the valve located closer to it. Posterior margin is usually shorter and often pointed. The hinge connects the two valves along the dorsal side. It is generally regarded to be the most important for the family and genus level taxonomy. The hinge allows to close the two valves tightly to avoid danger. Hinge consists of two to four different elements, teeth and sockets, that are complementary in right and left valves. Adductor and frontal scars are situated in the central muscle field in both valves of ostracod carapaces. The carapace is closed by the action of the adductor muscles that are attached to the inner surface in the central part of the valves. The imprints of these muscles form clusters of scars that are characteristic of the different superfamilies. The shape and the outline of the ostracod carapaces vary greatly. The lateral outline is most commonly oval and elongated with a straight or convex dorsal margin. When describing the outline of the carapace, the following adjectives would be appropriate to use – oval, subtriangular, bean-shaped, subrectangular. Ostracod ornamentation characteristics are the most important genus-level morphological features. Ornamentation can have different functions, such as protective, locomotive and that of reinforcement of the carapace. The external morphology of ostracod valves can be extremely variable. Common types of ornamentation include the following. Valves can be punctate or pitted, with punctate that vary in size and cover the entire valve or only part of it. 
Verbs can be reticulated. Reticulate comes from the Latin word reticulum, meaning small net, and describes a surface pattern resembling a net. The reticulation pattern on the surface of the valve reflects the cell arrangement of the underlying epidermal cells. Postercode valves are often ornamented with spines. Spines can be skirted, forming patterns or covering the entire surface. Other common ornament features include tubercules on orbs and ridges. The carapace may possess a lateral wing-like extension or ella, or have a posterior extension or caudal process. Ostracods, like other crustaceans, molt between growth stages that are called instars. There are usually nine instars between egg and adult. The presence of juvenile carapaces in the fossil assemblage is extremely important for paleontological studies. If an assemblage contains a mix of instars, it is relatively safe to assume the material is in situ or a true reflection of the living assemblage.